place. We have not come to the right place. This is not possible. Look at this. Right, this is our turning area. Oh, I don't think it's possible actually. It's going to be bloody tight. God, we've lost Whoppet, he's going. Oh, Whoppet, don't go anywhere, please. But then to complicate it, somebody else came to pick up some sheep up beyond us. Right, this is Brian and Aidan, yes? And we're at Troyd. Troyd Rhine. Troyd Rhine. This is the hairdresser's outfit. <laughs> Look at that smile. And then we go up this side. Up that side there. This is Glindor. And he's going to give us some more instructions. Clarewen, isn't it? Yeah. Clarewen. That's it, yeah. Clarewen. Yeah. Not Isn't Glindor. Clarewen. Glindor from Clarewen. Oh. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> OK, I've got it. We're coming up here. Yes. yes. And if he is, I'm telling you, it's bloody horrible. <laughs> Serious? Yes. Oh, Christ. You don't want to. No, definitely. I've seen it. You don't want to go there. Which... Henry forgot his chap, so Echo's still in there. Don't worry, if your brother's cold, he can get out of his bed and into mine. <laughs> <laughs> They're into doing selfies there. Well, I haven't got one, so I've got to do it this way. With a yard arm, which is my arm. Oh, my arm. The head doesn't go out any further. We go through the kit here. Halter under bridle. String from girth to pannier. Synthetic stirrup leather to replace broken part of martingale and a bit of rawhide from Australia to tie it all together. Camera bag and other side of ponies with more string. Well that sign is on the monk's trod and we've joined it. We've survived we so far. It. We've made it across no man's land. Without Richard Hammond as well. <laughs> Rachel's going to fill her boots up. lost a shoe but luckily we've got a boot <laughs> anyhow Roger it's nice to see you nice yeah, to meet I love you. I'm going to do my nomination first. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Henry. Good night. Wait. 
you go on. That's fantastic. I'm so grateful. How do you get a sheep on the horse? Because I didn't understand that. Put, the, put it in front of the saddle. With it. Yeah, but how do you get it up there? Which end do you put up first? Back end first. Back end first? Yeah. So the back end goes over the far side of the front of the saddle? Yeah. And, and it'll just stay there while you get up? You can hold yeah. its head down, I suppose. Yeah, well, you've got your hand on the reins and then you've got your reins on the horse. And Amazing. Two reins in one hand and you... Over. The cow cake spillage here, and the, cow, the horses are My really horse loving this. Her already. windmills in Norway in the distance and we're trying to find our way down oh, off this lot. Bert is very tired. And that brings us pretty much down into the top of his place. Yeah, onto the top of the fence now. Yeah, so we stay on this track for a bit. Well that's where we stayed last night, down there. Never guess where we are. Night before. Stevie's still there somewhere. Yeah, we're in the pop -up. We've just been past some along a tiny little track with a precipice down to our left and horses that just want to eat and aren't concentrating. It's quite scary. Grandmother's having a, a worried moment or two. Anyhow, this looks better. Yeah, so we just go around the end of that ridge. That's what we're going this evening. Mm. But so not on the horses. We don't fuss his mares, he should be fine. We might just have to trot on and get out of his way a bit, that's all.
Stevie's got colic. is that we've had the farrier shoe one horse, three feet on one horse, one shoe on another one. You know Rachel's horse has got colic and rather than get the vet while we were waiting for the shoeing, we should have, we're waiting now. Don't mind, we still might get some riding in. Got coffee and coffee cake in it. Hello Butte. Rachel calls this bracken snorkeling. <laughs> There's no path whatsoever. And we're going up over there. It's quite hard work, Bob. This is a Welsh bridle way. Echo's going to talk to the dragon. Yeah, oh, Whoppy. The horse in the middle of Wales. Whoppy, you coming back? Thanks. Thank heavens. Thanks. There is Bye. the most steepest of precipices down over there. Horrible. I don't know how I'm going to get down. Whoppy. Henry's doing a recce for us. We disappeared very quickly. They're very reluctant to go down, these horses. They keep stopping. Mountaineering with horses, not wise. Probably ride down the valley, sounds nice. Yeah. Well, it's too up. Yeah. yeah. He's just run off after those little horses, you little beggar. You're a disgrace, you are. He went rounding them up, he did. Now he's been rounding up sheep. That's where we've been today. We woke up this morning and said I'd like to go anywhere but up there. And where do we go? Up there. Anybody there? So I climb over and scoot them past. As I climb the fence over behind them. Car with colic, better. Smile. I'm not going to hang around. <laughs> 